Right, okay, so um, I'm going to be giving you some new resurrection info. Um, I believe it comes out on the 23rd of August, but we've got a load of leaked information to give you, and I'm just going to be laying out as much as I possibly can for you. Um, basically, this guy from IGN, it says here, um, I used to be a games reviewer for IGN, and basically he leaked some information a while ago. His boss supposedly forgave him, and um, yeah, and then a few months later, he apparently had to fire him for it. He didn't realise, so he's effectively been fired. We don't know this 100% true at all. We know this could be some guy completely making up. We don't know. But um, basically, I'm going to read out what you said. Uh, to me, it seems very true because there's a huge amount of info here. It'd be very hard to make it up, and it does seem legit. But I'm just telling you that it might not be true, so don't completely take it as it's 100%. Okay. Um, basically, if I just go through some of this, um, he's been asking some questions. Basically, the wave gun it can actually split into two. It's called the voltage phrase. Um, and basically, when you split it in half, it basically apparently acts like a, a wonder waffle, but zaps each le uh, less zombies, zaps less zombies with each shot. Apparently, so I guess the more you use it, the less it'll shoot. I don't know. Um, yeah, and you and you can switch the the wave gun into that two gun mode because you split the guns apart by pressing left on the D pad. Apparently, um, and of course, it, when you use it as the wave gun, it explodes zombies, which we've seen in the preview. Um, the new special uh, grenade, which everybody's been talking about, is a quantum entanglement device. Uh, it says here, when you throw it, it creates a large dome-shaped force field around it, in which zombies are seemingly, seemingly uh, magnetically pulled into. Everything you do to one zombie in the force field happens to all the others in it. So, for example, if you shoot one zombie, all the others will have a bullet hole in them as well. In the intel, oh, sorry, in the intel, Trout said that along with blessing your battle on quantum entanglement. Can also curse it, but from what I've heard, there are no negative effects of it. I guess I must be missing something. So, again, maybe he obviously hasn't played enough to get the full picture. Um, he, I don't think he has any idea on the Easter egg. But, um, yeah, let me just go through some more. Um, apparently, you can only spend 15 seconds outside of the moon base um, unless you buy a spacesuit. Um, yep, sorry if I'm not just whacking around quite really quick. I'm uh, reading at the same time here. The new perk is um three gun to tequila, sorry. And of course as that sounds you can have three guns. Um somebody asked if you it just gave you a gun with it, it doesn't it just opens up an extra slot. Buy a gun off the wall or the box and it just basically puts it into the first slot instead of replacing a se your second gun. Um it, and oh apparently and it also if you go down you think you'd lose the gun permanently. You don't you do lose the gun, but if you buy the perk again you get that weapon back. Um so yeah that'd be quite good. Um because it'd be a shame to have like your best gun in the third slot and then lose it completely I guess um, the new special zombie, the phasing zombie we've already heard about is similar to the Nate, I'm reading it directly here, similar to the napalm zombie and the shrieker zombie from Shangri-La these zombies are fairly rare when they do appear you're in trouble, they appear out of thin air and you can see them for a moment but then they become invisible, they don't appear again until they attack or they are shot at, however you play close attention when they are invisible, you see a kind of distortion where they are, unfortunately this is hard to see when there are zombies all around you. Another thing is um, the PPSH-41 is returning, um, again directly quoting it says it's just as good as ever and virtually unchanged from the World of War version, besides enhanced graphics and sounds. The quotes from the characters when you get this gun are very entertaining as well, for example when Nikolai gets it he says something he says, ah, reminds me of the good old days. And when Rick, Rick Ven gets it, he sometimes says, haha, I love the PP. Um, and also, I forgot to mention on um, the spacesuit, it costs a thousand points. Um, here, now, here's about the pack a punch on the moon map. Is In the power room, there is a large teleport. To turn it on, you must activate 10 different switches scattered around the map. Once you do that, the teleporter turns on for 30 seconds. If you can make it there and teleport, you end up in Area 51. Here there is a fairly wide open area with, uh, with the Pack-a-Punch machine in the centre. After a minute you'll be teleported back to the moon. Kind of sounds a bit like Kino, a little bit. Um, another thing is to say that Area 51, everybody's been waiting for an Area 51 to come into the Zombies map, so there it finally is. And here's basically people who have been asking them questions. And I'm just going to read out the questions and the answers basically. First one is, uh, are all seven perks appearing along with the new one? Yes. Do zombies spawn at Area 51? Yes. Give us any quotes that they say about three gun tequila. Um and he says, I'm um, okay, I can't remember exactly, but that's something like three times the blood shit. Or ah. <laughs> um I'm gonna try and find some more interesting ones. Um here is 
Somebody's asked if the map is really hard. He says it's really hard. I've only played it maybe about 10 times though, so it might take some getting used to. The highest I've gotten is round 12. I think you can't really take that as it's just hard because I think a lot of maps it does take time to get good and then you can find it easy. Find the good places to rape train and stuff. Or you won't, probably won't be able to rape train on um, it because of the change, change in gravity. Um, so another one. How big is the map? It's huge. Definitely the biggest. Which is good. Another question is here, um, is the silverback grill in it? Because a lot of people were asking that before if the silverback would be in the map. And he said, no, not that I know of. Um, somebody's asked about the gravity on the moon. Does it make it really hard? He said it makes it harder, but not as much as you might think. Again, I think that's just a matter of getting used to it. You may even find it easier in some ways, I think, if you get used to it. That's basically what you know of now. Um, hopefully, we'll get even more LinkedIn information, but I think that's enough to definitely tie us over to the release, which is only, I don't know, was it maybe two weeks away? I'm not exactly sure. I think it's about that anyway. I, mean, I think it's under actually now. But yeah, so um, I hope that uh, information satisfied your taste for the new map. And um, yeah, and we'll have some gameplay up as soon as it comes out. Thanks.